Two of my favorite things to do is to rescue old furniture and to use unusual items from the hardware store in new ways. In this chapter, I'm gonna show you how to make a faux fluted dresser. So let's get into it. Fluting is a decorative wood detail on the front of the dresser and we're actually gonna use pole wrap and pole wrap is, it's just something that you wrap around poles in your basement when they're really ugly. And I like reimagining how we're gonna use it. So we're gonna cut it down and we're gonna put it on the front of the drawers and it's gonna give it a really nice wooden detail. And then we're gonna paint the whole thing black and it's gonna look really sleek. I see dressers like this a lot for like a thousand plus dollars and this was a $40 dresser. The pull wrap was maybe $50. So the whole project is gonna be under a hundred. Let's talk about the supplies that we're gonna need for this project. First is the pole wrap, and that's what we're gonna use for the faux fluting. And then we're gonna paint it. I got some black paint, but you can use any color that you want. And then to cut the pole wrap, we're gonna use the miter saw, which is the DIYer's best power tool. And then I'm gonna use wood glue to attach the pole wrap to the front of the dresser. And then we're gonna add some new brass hardware using painter's tape and a tape measure and a drill. All right, let's get started. I picked this dresser for a few reasons. One, I really love the shape, but I'm not a big fan of the color, so I'm gonna be painting it. Two, it has this really great inset on the drawers, and that way the pole wrap will fit perfectly in here. And three, it was inexpensive, which is kind of key for me. So if your dresser has hardware, you can take it out right now and then we're gonna go and clean the whole thing. Usually when they come from thrift stores, they have a little bit of grit on them and they always put these stickers on. So I'm gonna use this degreaser and cleaning solution and just spray it on. And then we can wipe it down. Hopefully it's not gonna be too gross, not too bad. Make sure to get Every surface really good. This degreaser and deglosser will help take off some of that varnish and create a good surface for you to paint on. Ooh, yeah, that was dirty. That was gross. Okay. I also have my sander here today with a 220 grit on it. And if you want to just rough up the surface, that will help the paint adhere to it a lot better. After you finish sanding, you're gonna to wanna to wipe the whole thing down again. Honestly, I'm not too nervous about sanding the entire thing. The degreaser and deglosser really made a cloudy surface, so the paint will adhere to that. But if you want to, you can sand the entire thing. I'm also not gonna do it because we are covering the front of these with fluting, so you're not even gonna see that part. We're gonna grab our supplies to paint. I got my black paint, tray, brush, and stir stick. I'm gonna stir this up. And I went with black, but you can paint it any color you want. I like to use a brush for a project like this, but you can definitely use a roller. I just like that hand-painted look a little bit better. I'm gonna paint on a first coat, and then when it's dry to the touch, I'll do a second coat. That'll probably take about 30 or 40 minutes. I'm starting with the top, but I'm gonna paint the whole dresser, even the area that the pull wrap is gonna go on, just in case you can see through it. And you never wanna overwork paint, so I'm just gonna put on one layer, and if I miss anything, I'll let it dry, and then I'll do a second layer. I have the first coat on the top and now I'm gonna start on the drawers. And typically you wanna paint with the grain of the wood. Now that this first coat is dry to the touch, I'm gonna to put on a second coat and then we'll move it upstairs and I'll reset my workspace so we can add the fluting to the drawers. The paint is dry on the dresser and I reset the workspace so I can show you how to flute the drawers. 
I'm gonna start with the first one and show you the whole process and then you can repeat it on as many drawers as you have. First, we're gonna take the measurement. I really like to use these drawers with an inset because the fluting is gonna sit really nicely in here. So let's get the measurement of the height. And you want the inside part. So that's six and three fourths. I'm gonna bring my drawer back over here and then measure six and three fourths on the pull rack. Gonna add a little mark right here. And then a tip is to wrap painter's tape around the place that you're gonna cut so it doesn't splinter. We're actually gonna wrap the painter's tape all the way around because the miter saw can only cut a piece so wide. So the painter's tape is on and I'm just gonna go back and remeasure six and three fourths. Gonna make a couple marks. All right. I'm gonna grab my safety glasses. And now we're gonna make the first cut. I love my miter saw. It is so good for woodworking projects. And I always feel like it's a good one to start with because it's a really safe tool because it's stationary and it has a lot of guards on it. So a few things setting up your wood on the miter saw. You wanna make sure the pull wrap is pushed all the way to this guard. And then since it's a wider piece, we're gonna put our slide on. And this will allow the miter saw to go back and forth. And you wanna pull your blade towards you and get it going and then plunge into the pull wrap. Before we do anything, we just wanna double check that our blade is lined up with the mark. All right, gonna make the first cut. Okay, look how clean that cut is. I can take the tape off. This is our first piece and I'm just gonna grab the dresser drawer and put it up here and just make sure that it fits in place before I make my next cut. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, this is gonna look so good. We're gonna go back and stain this, uh, but I have to cut one more piece. That's all we're gonna need to fill this. Ooh, that's exciting. We'll go back to the miter saw and I'm gonna measure six and three quarters and repeat the process. All right, let's see if this one fits. Oh yeah, okay, it fits. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> if it's a little bit long at the end, this is just being held on by some paper so you can actually use a box cutter. So I'm just gonna figure out where I need to cut it and it's right on this seam right here. And then I'll take it down to my workbench, get my box cutter and then cut it. And it fits. Okay, everything fits. So now I'm gonna stain these two pieces. Let me throw my drawer over here. I like to use stain instead of paint on the pole wrap just because the paint can build up in these little creases and the stain's a lot thinner. I'm using black stain today, but I also think this would be really pretty if you wanted to do a dark walnut against the black. I kind of like that tone on tone look though. So I'm just gonna use my sponge brush and brush this on. A little stain really goes a long way. Definitely won't use this entire thing. I like to get one coat on the surface. And then I'm gonna go back with an artist brush and get in all these little creases. 
that filled in. And then I just like to go over with the brush one more time to smooth down any excess stain. Okay, now I'll move on to the next piece. You also wanna make sure that you get the ends on each side. You won't really see it because of the inset, but in case any would peek out, it's easier to get it now than later. All right, now I just have to let this dry and then we're gonna glue it to the drawer and then add some new hardware. The stain is dry to the touch, so we are going to adhere it to the front of the drawer. Get it right here. And then I'll grab some wood glue and a sponge brush. And I'll start by just putting a bit on. You don't want too much because you don't want it to ooze out of the sides. So I'm gonna put some on and then spread it so it's a thin layer with my sponge brush. And if you can try to stay maybe like a fourth of an inch away from the edge, that'll help it from oozing out. I'm gonna do a little bit more right here. And you wanna make sure you're getting pretty close so all the vertical pieces stay on. Okay. We got our wood glue on. And next, I'm gonna grab the pole wrap and put it into place. Fit it nice and tight in there. And get the second piece. Make sure they're sitting really close to each other, fitting really snug in there. That looks so cool. <laughs> We're, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna finish the rest of the drawers. We're on to the last step for this one. The wood glue is dry and I'm gonna add some brass hardware. I wanna make sure it's centered in the middle of one of these strips. So I'm actually just gonna count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I feel like this looks like a really good placement. I'm gonna measure from here to here, which is six inches. You usually like to cheat your hardware up a little bit, especially because there's this bulky top right here. I'm gonna put it at three and a half inches. And then from this side, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 over, and we'll measure up three and a half inches and make my mark there. I am just going to set my hardware in place to make sure visually that's how I want it to look. Looks pretty darn good. And then we'll grab the drill and drill our holes. And then we'll screw in our hardware. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. If you're using the same hardware that you had before, you might need to get a longer screw because the fluting is gonna add a little bit of thickness. All right, got that in really tight. I just thought that these holes with a little bit of detail really accented the fluting on this. Now that we're done with this drawer 100%, we're gonna do the five others and then move the dresser upstairs. The dresser's in the bedroom. I honestly can't believe that this makeover cost less than $100. This looks like a high-end dresser. In this chapter, I showed you how to paint a dresser, flute it with pole wrap, and add new hardware. 
Now go find a piece of furniture to flute. <laughs>